In this video I want to talk about React Native Console plugin for WebStorm or other intelligent idea IDs like Android Studio or PHP Storm, whatever you prefer for your React Native development. Let's take a look. To install it, it's basically you can find it in Marketplace, go to the Preference, Plugins, Marketplace, type React Native, uh, only one option, React Native Console, and that's it. Here how it looks, here is icon appear, errand console, and I want to tell you about some of my favorite features here. Basically, uh, most of them is Android features because as a React Native developer, I prefer to do most of the time my development on the iOS because it faster, simpler work process, more smooth for iOS and when I need to check everything on Android it become a bit complicated because I'm not running the command every day and I forget about these commands and where this plugin become really really helpful. First of all it's common to run your emulator. Here is a list of all my emulators. You can just select one and run. It's super cool because you don't need to run your Android Studio for this, run your AVD manager or you don't need to remember your emulator name to run it from the console like emulator AVD your emulator name so pretty cool. You can also run Android debug here but I prefer to use native capability of WebStorm to run my builds for React Native. You can watch my another video about it. So let's try. Install it and when it's done, we can check other features. So it's installed now and runs up. And the second most useful command here will be run dev menu. For especially I am happy about it on the device. You don't need to shake your device. It's pretty annoying. And you can run the menu like this. Also, you can simply reload your JS bundle by pressing another command and sometimes when you run your Android build you see the error and you need to run following common ADB reverse TCP. I'm always forget what it should be, how it should look and I always googling it again and again but now you can just press and it will fix it for you. Another nice feature is to open your output directory where is your debug release APKs saved bundles and everything because again pass is complicated it's like Android app build output like this and uh, I'm always forget where it's located so I don't need to search in it again and again now just press one button and I'm happy and maybe the last thing I want to show you is how to run iOS 
simulator yeah it's whole list of your iOS simulator you can run any you want for example if you want to try some old 5s device and it's run you don't need to run your Xcode for this don't need to remember your name just press and everyone is happy okay that's it thank you for watching hope to see you in my new videos